Hello everyone, uh, this is Swartor Snoopy here, back with another Soldier Republic video. Today I have you guys another Soldier Republic highlight video. Today's Soldier Republic highlight video, we're just going to be at completing the Eternal Championship with the level 70 mode. Now I haven't actually stepped a foot, or actually haven't, you know, gone into a, this a little instance for the Eternal Championship since I introduced the Knights of the Eternal Throne. So I just thought it'd be kind of cool just to see, you know, how it has changed. Obviously, I mean, they have, you know, more HP and damage, but I mean, I haven't really gone in, in here, so I just thought it'd be kind of cool just to kind of like jump back in, just see what we can actually do. So if you guys enjoy this Soldier of Public Highlight video, as always, if you guys enjoy these videos, then make sure to leave a like. And if you guys want some game mints, then check the link in the description down below. Catalyst of game mints. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys in the highlight. Alrighty guys, we're getting into this right now. So I'm not going to switch my companion to, uh, you know, DPS just yet. Because I kind of want to see, you know, how this has changed. It probably hasn't changed by it much, to be honest. It probably isn't much of a difference, but I just kind of want to see, it, you know, kind of what's up right here. So it looks like I'm taking some damage. You know what? I'm not going to actually, you know, switch the stuff. I'm just going to reflect uh, some damage to take down the enemy a lot faster. So uh, there we go. We're just going to continue to actually uh, do uh, some DPS right here. And uh, there we go. Nice. So it seems like, you know, uh, the whole entire arena hasn't changed it uh, too much. But, I mean, this is something that uh, I actually kind of like. I mean, uh, the Eternal Championship is a pretty simple mode, in my opinion. But it's also really nice because if you just want to kind of like attack things and also get some credits and whatnot, then it is a really, you know, easy way to do that. Alright, so I'm going to actually switch this to a damage companion. So here we go. We're just going to wait right here. And then we're actually going to just uh, activate uh, some abilities right here. But I think one thing that probably helps a lot is just the fact that, you know, now I have all the OP stuff as a commando, so now it makes it really easy just to kind of like it, not even really care too much about the damage. But from what I can tell right now, it seems like these bosses have a lot of, you know, actual HP compared to, to you know, what it used to be. I'm assuming that's because I actually don't have like a bunch of good gear, you know, right now. But I mean, then again, it just honestly depends. I mean, uh, to be honest, I know that, uh, you know, I don't have the best end game gear right now. That's probably what's affecting it slightly. And with level 65, I actually did have, you know, some of the best gear. So we're just going to use this right here. And here we go. We have this uh, third uh, boss right here. Alrighty, we're just going to wait around and just do some stuff. Also, for the weekly, uh, this actually, you know, supplies a decent amount of, you know, CXP. So that's pretty cool right there. So I guess, I mean, if you just want to have a purpose to doing this, then that can be just something right there. So we're just going to go ahead and, you know, just attack of this guy right here. Just let him build up on my, uh, you know, bubble. So that's pretty nice. I don't even need to kite them right now since I know I'm going to get full HP in a second. And there we go. Nice. So we can just go back once again and just do some stuff right here. So I guess if you want to do Sprint Champion, if you get some good gear, this should help out with actually taking down these bosses pretty rapidly. So I'm just going to stand right here. So I'm going to try to do the little cheese method for this boss that I remember, or I hope I remember at least the correct way to do it. So I'm just going to actually have my companion attack this guy. Alright, so I'm going to have him attack him right there. And I'm going to attack this guy just really quickly. So we're going to try to take this guy out, of course, just have my companion attack him. Just get this guy to go to his little, you know, enraged thing. So here we go, just do that. Let's get him to it. Alright, so now I'm just going to try to actually activate this right here. We're just going to go directly after him, just let him attack my companion. And there we go, it kills both of them just like that. Nice. So we're just going to go ahead and head back right here, just do some more stuff. I don't know, I am obviously not speedrunning it, but we are doing this pretty fast, uh, at least in my opinion. I don't remember, you know, the tactics that I actually did uh, to go ahead and do uh, this little arena thing. So here we go, we have uh, this uh, boss uh, once again. Just gonna try to take him out. But yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people haven't actually stepped uh, into, you know, the Eternal Championship since it's now level 70. So I thought it'd be pretty good just to go ahead and actually, you know, kind of showcase it. So here we go, just activate that right there, let's get them away, and then we're just going to try to actually attack this guy. I also wasn't using any of these, you know, any of these legacy abilities, so that probably is kind of like it's slowing me down a lot. 
But anyways, we're just gonna kill that guy. Just take him out. Actually, you know, these sky troopers just use this to take them all out. And uh, nice and easy. There we go. We also got, you know, some uh, nice uh, stuff right here. Get some good old uh, command XP. And it is all good once again. So we're just gonna go ahead and just begin this round. Heal back up. And then continue. Okay, I know that you can actually take down this boss with a damage dealing, you know, companion. But I don't know. This guy is a real pain in the butt in my opinion. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably actually just going to switch to a healer. Because I really don't like this boss. This boss is absolutely, you know, a pain in the butt. So I'm just going to go ahead and just, you know, try to do this the correct, or, you know, the correct way. Probably not. I'm already doing this wrong. But who cares, honestly. We can just go ahead and just uh, cheese all these mechanics. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and just do this right here. Just going to attack this guy. Looks like my companion's actually getting beat up pretty badly. Okay, so... Oh, okay. I do not remember how to do this. I'm actually surprised I'm getting, like, wrecked right now. I guess, I mean, if you do forget how to do it, it does kind of destroy you. That seems to be the case right here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, start attacking this guy some more. Looks like I'm actually going to have to play this tactically now. Which, I don't know, that's fine, but still, once again, I didn't think I would actually have to do that, so let me just let him do that right there. He has Untouchable, I remember he's not going to do anything for right now, so let me just try to actually almost kill this guy. Just try to take him out real quick. Alrighty, then he's almost dead. But, I mean, once again, I guess uh, you still have to uh, pay attention to the tactics, because if you don't, then it's kind of a ripperoni and pepperoni, so this guy's enraged, just to kill uh, him. The one thing I find funny with this boss fight, though, is they call them strong enemies, but if you check uh, their HP, they absolutely are, you know, just tanks. They are bullet sponges. I think that's just the funniest thing right here, is this is a strong enemy, and this guy literally can take 20 billion hits. Probably, you know, the most impressive strong enemy I've seen. And then you have, you know, the enemy right here. That isn't even a strong enemy, but, you know, he's just okay. He has less HP and isn't as strong. But, you know, it's game logic right here with this game, especially, so... No, we aren't going to question it. Okay, we're just going to go over there. It also seems like, you know, there's more lag in here for some reason. I mean, I'm surprised that I'm getting random frame drops. Or, you know, frame drops just out of nowhere on this boss. I'm also surprised this guy isn't attacking me when I'm just, like, completely wrecking his day. I guess he just loves my companion for some reason. Because look at this guy. I'm just doing so much damage to him. I'm literally killing him. And this guy is like, you know, who cares about you? Who cares about, you know, you at all, what you're doing? I'm just going to target your companion for some odd reason. So we're just going to continue to actually attack him right here and just kill him when he does nothing. So, nice. There we go. And finally, this uh, pain in the butt boss is dead. So that's uh, pretty nice right there. So I remember the meme boss is coming up. This is the meme itself. Alrighty, so here we go. Let's uh, just uh, start this uh, boss fight right now. Looks like uh, this guy is a bullet sponge once again. I'm getting attacked by someone else. It looks like I was getting shot at from a different angle. Oh, okay. That's a nice bug. He's just like uh, shooting me from here, but his animation is just appearing at the wrong place. 10 out of 10 right there, IGN. So let's just continue to attack this guy. Then I'm just going to target you and just completely wreck your day. Luckily, they kept the HP on her insanely low. That's really useful. So let me just go ahead and just, you know, just get a nice, uh, you know, good old DPS on her. Okay, I don't want her to enrage, though. I know that she does that little enrage thing, and that's a pain in the butt. That also does a lot of damage right now for some reason. So, I'm just going to place that right there and just continue to actually attack him. Just get her to walk over here. Nice. Just to walk back. No big deal. We're just going to continue to do this the correct way, because I'm not taking any chances. Well, you know what I could do is I could get her to enrage, actually. That could be useful right now. I could get her to enrage and then activate the little defense bubble. But you know what? I'm not going to do that. I remember this guy has, you know, a really special, you know, fast ability that he activates in a second. So, just wait. I just want him to just go ahead and use it. Okay, that was delayed. Yep, rip. I thought I could be fast on the draw. It looks like it didn't work out pretty well. My sidekick has been kidnapped. Oh, no. Did I make her enrage too early? Okay, there we go. That is bad news. Okay, so I'm just going to take down this guy quickly. Alright, so she's going to go crazy on me. So we're just going to activate this. Just reflect everything. I said, just got to go ahead and go to, or, you know, just to fight the good fight. I'm just going to go over here. Just, you know, relax. Just get her to just chase me right now. That's right, you're going to get stunned, my friend. 
too bad. It's so sad. So we're just going to go ahead and just use this right here. Just going to have to try and continue to run away. Since this boss is a pain in the butt. And it looks like they are now dead. So that didn't go well at all. But it seems like you can still kind of like cheese the mechanics and have, you know, no issues. I mean, it's pretty obvious I haven't been playing this pretty often. Because I had these like mechanics down 100% so I could just complete it as fast as possible. Because, I mean, it was a good way to actually, you know, get uh, credits. Because you would just sell the little exotic, you know, items. But they're tier 1. I don't know if they still sell on the GTN. But uh, still, we're just going to... No attack this boss right here. We're just going to go through the whole entire Eternal Championship. But no big deal. So here we go. We're just going to use this. He's going to use uh, some special abilities. I'm just going to move out of this. I just wasted that because I remember hold the line is useful for this ability right here. Never mind. It, it doesn't even matter. It still works. So I'm just going to activate the bubble just to do some extra damage to him. Seems like this guy is a pain also because he has been, you know, tuned up with uh, some more HP. That always sucks when they give the bosses a bunch of HP and their bullet sponges, but I mean, you kind of have to deal with it, to be honest. So let me just try to do some quick damage before I'm stunned. This guy's also stunned. That's pretty useful. Which one did I land in? Okay, I got some bad RNG. I landed in the fire. That is not good right there. Okay, so I'm just going to hope that this guy doesn't use one of his, you know, super special abilities. Looks like ad spawn, and I don't remember ad spawning in with this boss fight. I guess that might be new. Might not be new, but... Okay, we need to stop that. Don't use that ability right there. Just uh, move out of that. I'm just going to continue to uh, take down this guy, or try to at least. There we go, just activate some more stuff right there. Just choke him. And then uh, now you're just going to die. There we go. So it did work out pretty well. We do have, you know, these creatures. We do have uh, this guy, so let's just kill him real quick. Alright, you're dead. And now that guy's dead. So we are almost to the home stretch. We probably are taking way too long for this, but uh, hey, you know, I'm a-okay with that. Alrighty, guys, so here we go. We're just going to start off this boss fight. Just activate the reflect bubble just to do some extra damage. Just easily take down this boss. Just reflect all that good old stuff. So here we go. I know they're going to activate, you know, their one special ability. There we go. Just continue the DPS. Luckily, my companion did not get attacked by that. That is a very good news. I could have probably switched my companion to DPS just to kill this boss uh, fast again. I mean, to be honest, when I was actually trying to speedrun this, I was just trying to, you know, just get the companion to be damaged the whole time, which does work out pretty well. But for right now, I'm just trying to essentially just uh, beat this with a level 70, so I don't really care about, you know, completing this uh, rapidly. I don't know my companion's going to get hit by that. Yeah, but that uh, kind of sucks, but it does happen. So here we go. We got these guys right here. Just to uh, jump back from that. Is my companion going to walk into that? Of course, my companion is just, you know, absolutely the smartest companion. Okay, he might actually die. That's kind of bad news. We do not want that at all. So, there we go. We're just going to, you know, attack this guy. We're doing pretty bad on DPS on the Doom Droid. Usually, he's, like, almost dead. And he's already, you know, launching this. And he's not even close to dead yet. That kind of sucks. Very slow on the DPS, as you can tell. I mean, at least uh, with my older videos and just, you know, going for Sprint Champion, I remember I'd get this guy to, like, you know, really close. Or I could kill him before this little phase right here. So that's always important to kind of note. So I'm just going to wait for this to actually just waste time. And then there we go. He's just going to get back up. And then we're just going to try to quickly eliminate him. So here we go. He's going to use his little laser beam. Now we just got to be really quick so we don't have to deal with other stuff. So just speed up the process. We're just going to try to DPS this guy down as quick as possible. Just try to kill him. Okay, this could end bad. I need to jump out of that. Alright, just to uh, kill this guy. I have no idea what's happening. It's being really weird. But we did kill them. We also blew up somehow. That's a great. That's kind of a meme. But it's okay. Because we're still going to win. Kill that guy. And then uh, just kill this guy. Never mind. He's just going to wake up. And now he is dead. So we're on to uh, the final battle of the Eternal Championship. This is good news because, I mean, not going to lie, it seems like not much has changed. But I always enjoy doing this every now and then. So, I don't know. I probably won't get back into it because it seems like, you know, I'm a bit rusty on the mechanics. But it seems like it's still pretty simple to just go ahead and clear. Alrighty, guys. So we're going to get right into this. So I'm going to take the risk. I haven't played this in a while. But I'm going to switch him to damage. So here we go. This is going to be a definitely really intense right here. We're just going to start this off by just being really tactical. We're going to try to kill this walker as quick as possible. 
So there we go. We're just going to activate that right there. Like I said, we're trying to be tactical with this fight. We're just going to try to take him out. Let him use his second fury, you know, little ability right there. And now he's going to actually start attacking me. So we're going to activate the reflex since we have that now. And we're just going to blow up this walker really fast. So here we go. He's not going to get a second one in. Likely his, his walker is going to break down any second. There we go. It's broke down. And there we go. We're just going to activate the, this stuff right here. Now we just got to slowly but surely just break some stuff. He already jumped back. That is surprising, actually. So I'm just going to activate this stuff right here. We're just going to activate to some more stuff. Just try to survive right here since we're going to take a lot of damage. Just to break uh, that stuff up once again. Looks like uh, Zotar. Or, you know, Zot I don't even know how to say his name, to be honest. But anyways, it seems like he is still kind of like uh, his normal self. So that's kind of useful. So he's just going to activate to this stuff right here. That's kind of useful. My guy is pretty low. That's uh, actually kind of bad news. Okay, we're going to have to break this uh, really quickly. Just try to take this guy out rapidly. We just got to try to actually kill him right here. So he's going to activate Unstoppable Force. Just so there we go. It's going to kill my companion. That's fine because this guy is just going to be taken out. So there we go. That's going to blow up. He's going to recharge this. And everything's just going to die. So let's just get out of this. And there we go, everyone dies. Rip, that's the end. And we have won the Eternal Championship. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Stars Republic highlight video. As always, if you guys enjoy these videos, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.